In this lesson, we'll learn the for loop, the if statement, sprintf, and how to cycle through images to create animation. This is a big lesson, but if you've watched the previous videos, you're ready for it. I'll concentrate on these Rex Walk images. Notice there are 62 of them, and they're numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, with four decimal places. Inside at main, I'll tell the program to run a function called load images, just so I don't clutter up at main. Inside load images, we need a buffer and a variable. A for loop is a function that will run over and over again as long as something is true. You tell the loop where to start, in our case, i equals 1. You tell the loop when to stop, in our case, it's i, I is less than 63 because we have 62 images. And how much to increase the counter by each time, in our case, 1. This is a good time to create our rex walk variable. Creating a variable this way will give us 63 rex walk variables. I'll store the first image into rex walk 1 all the way to 62. When the code gets into this for loop for the first time, i is going to equal 1. I want to put that value into this string at this location. For that, we'll use sprintf. sprintf takes a buffer, a string, and a variable. Working right to left, it'll store the variable into the string with percent %d and stores the string into the buffer. In most cases, you'll type percent %d and that'll be enough. Since I need four decimal places, I'll just need to put percent %04d. Now, since that entire string is stored in the buffer, I can just call image add buffer. I want to store the result of image add into the rex walk sub i variable so that when i equals 1, the image called will be 1 and the rex walk variable will be 1. When the for loop hits the end, it will cycle back up to the top and see if it needs to run again. This is a bit complicated, but much faster than typing 62 image add functions. Now that we've set that up, we need to create a view to display these images and a variable rex to store the view. I want to display the first rex walk image, so I'll write rex equals view add rex walk sub 1, and then I'll put it at 0, 0. So in on timer, I ultimately want to use view set image to set the rex view with the different rex walk images. We'll use a variable w, short for walk. Before view set image, I want to increase the value of w each time. So, and I can do that by typing w equals w plus 1, but there's a shorthand way to type that, which is w plus plus. Now let's press F5 and see what that looks like. Notice rex is walking, but the value of w exceeded our number of rex walk images. We need to cycle back through them when we get to 62, so we'll put our view set image function in an if statement. We'll type if w is less than 63, open curly bracket, the view set image function, and close curly bracket. This won't allow the view set image function to run if w is not less than 63. To cycle w back to 0, we'll type else w equals 0, so that if it's greater than 63, it'll set it back to 1. Now, Rex is walking in the Dragonfire SDK iPhone simulator, ready for whatever comes his way.